A part of that statement reads, quote, unfortunately, we have no control over who plays for our opponents, end quote. Herc, are you cool with it? Messi and company skipping the trip to Vancouver and the Whitecap statement. What do you think? All right, two separate things. Mm -hmm. I am cool with Messi, Inter Miami, deeming what they think is fit for their players, whether it's a six and a half hour trip, the longest in Major League Soccer, you're going from South Florida to Vancouver, that's, that's two different countries, it's a six and a half hour flight uh, with customs, et cetera. Yeah, if they wanna take it off, because they don't want their players making that trip and playing on turf, because they see the congested schedule that is for Inter Miami, is for Lionel Messi and company, and they see what is ahead the game's ahead, and yes, Messi leaving for Copa America, and they read the writing on the wall. I have no issue with them doing what they think is best for them and their players. That is their prerogative. That is their right. Here's what I'm not cool with. I'm getting sick and tired of other teams advertising Messi. Come watch Messi score on us. Come watch Messi. And then... That's fine if you'd like to do it. Raising the prices for that game to do so, because that's the issue here, is that the club can say, we don't have any control, and Vancouver's right, they don't have any control of what Inter is going to do. Guess what you do have control in doing? Not raising, or excuse me, not raising the prices in a way where it's unaffordable and ridiculous, and you look stupid if this happens. You have that control. Unfortunately, they're not alone. The majority of clubs do this. That's where I have a problem with. Mm. Now, for the fans, I feel for them. Some of these fans... Do you? I mean, they can, they can look at a calendar. Like, this was the most obvious thing. Anybody knows that there's a six-and-a-half-hour flight. Anybody knows that Vancouver plays on turf. Anybody could have looked at Inter-Miami's schedule and seen that they got a game at home back across the country on Wednesday, if you paid what we're hearing up to $10,000, you knew, you knew there was a big risk, Herc. Some of these fans sure want to see Messi, but go out and root for Vancouver. Go out and buy tickets for Vancouver. And they're being priced out by some of these fans that just want to see Messi, that don't even know any other players in Vancouver or on Messi's team, they just want to see Messi. They're getting priced out by those people. I understand what you are saying, Seb, and absolutely do your homework, right? Buyer beware. Mm -hmm. That's the world we live in, especially in today's market, the resale market, etc. I am with you, but there are some fans who really do want to support their team who are being affected by this. I feel for those fans. Do you have any thoughts on the statement? Because I think Vancouver's getting a lot of, well, you'd only see this in MLS, a statement where we're talking about the other teams. It is an only in MLS, Herc, and it is cheesy. It is a bad look, but honestly, I think it's necessary. MLS and Vancouver are being honest here. They, they know what's happening. They know people have paid these tickets. We would be criticized. I would be much more critical if they didn't acknowledge Correct. that this was happening. Correct. I believe they also have some, it's a consolation prize for those who have paid and shelled that so much money. Oh, they thousands. give you free beer or a discounted beer and hot dogs or whatever they Discounted beer and yeah. hot dogs, yes, <laughs> yes. And it may sound stupid, but listen, these clubs, they, they're under no obligation to do anything. That's a reality. Mm -hmm. And I, like I repeat, I feel for the fans who actually want to attend these games because it's their club. It's their boyhood, girlhood club. It's their, it's their local club who they support and love and want to see. And yes, seeing Messi play against your club would be something great. But being priced out by these things, I feel for those people. Because listen, we're, we're living in a world today where I'm a father of two. You know, I've got a family and to go out to a sporting event for parking, for, for tickets, for concessions. That is an event that it's going to cost you a couple hundred dollars, if not more, talking upwards of two to three hundred dollars just for a day out with your family at a sporting event. So I feel for these families, for these fans. But yeah, it's buyer beware, man. Did you see what Vancouver FC of the Canadian Premier League did? They said, if you're disappointed and you bring your inner Miami Vancouver Whitecap tickets to our game, which is earlier in the day, I think it's like a 3 p.m. local time start, you get in free. So there you go. The, the people at the CPL, they're smart. They're up here. They see no messy. No problem. Look at that. Beating, it, beating our... MLS off the field, too. I see, yeah, I see that, you guys. That, that, that's I see the, you yeah, guys. There you go. Next step, the next step. <laughs>